Hello! In today's experiment, we are going to see if hot water freezes faster than cold water. This is a very simple and easy experiment you can do at home. The blue cup has cold water and the green cup has hot water. Keep it in the freezer for about 45 minutes. Time to reveal the results. As you can see, the cold water is still in the liquid state. However, we see that there is a thin sheet of ice on top of the hot water. The phenomenon of hot water freezing faster than the cold water is named the Mpeba effect. It is after a high school student named Aresto Mpemba, who was making ice cream for a school project. The students were boiling a mixture of cream and sugar and then let it cool down before putting it into the freezer. Mpemba was worried about not getting a spot in the freezer, so he put his mixture into the freezer immediately after boiling. After he returned an hour and a half later, he found that his mixture had frozen while his classmates had not. But why does this happen? We don't exactly know why this happens, but there are many proposed mechanisms. I will share four of them. Supercooling The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius, but it may become a lot cooler before this freezing actually happens. Supercooling happens when ice needs a nucleation site, like an air bubble or an impurity, before it can form. The reasoning behind the Mpiva effect is that the water that is warmer may require less supercooling so it would freeze before the cold water. Evaporation If there are two beakers, one with hot water and one with cold water, the hot water will lose more molecules than the cold one due to evaporation. So, once the hot water reaches the same temperature as the cold water, it will freeze faster because the beaker contains less water compared to the cold water. However, the Mpeba effect has also been seen in experiments which use a sealed beaker. Convection Water mainly cools from its surface and from the sides of the cup, with the middle remaining warmer than the rest. Since cold water is denser, it sinks and the warm water being lighter rises to take its place. This is called convection. Now a cup of warm water will experience bigger temperature differences and therefore contain more convection currents. When the hot water reaches the same temperature as the originally cold water, it will still have more convection and therefore it will cool faster. Frost melting When you place two cups filled with hot and cold water in the freezer, the frost around the cup which is filled with the cold water won't melt while around the hot water cup the frost will melt. The frost around the hot water cup isn't a very good conductor. However, the frost that has melted into liquid water becomes a conductive layer of water around the bottom part of the hot water cup. This allows the hot cup of water to freeze faster than the cold water. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to be a part of our science community.